Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuba, and in a recent video I showed my 10 or 11 or 12 favorite uh, twisty puzzles or Rubik's Cubes, and this was the one that came out on top. Although it doesn't look like it, once it's solved, this will be a cuboid shaped puzzle with 4x4x6 four by four by dimensions. Um, I thought what I would do in this video is just solve it. Um, so, let's start the timer. And away we go. I'm not going to give a tutorial or really explain particularly what I'm doing, but I will explain little bits. The first thing I'm going to do is make a white center here and then a yellow center opposite it. So it's actually just a few moves to make this white center. Now the yellow center, and you can see I've got this nice convenient bar there. Other centers. Pull the hammer back a bit, get a better view here. All right, I've got a green bar, so I'll make use of that. Okay, so that's a green center. Now you have to remember with this one that for some reason the color scheme works opposite from a normal Rubik's cube, and that it goes white, green, orange instead of white, green, red. But other than that, it's the same. This wants to be orange and bonk, bonk. There we go. So that's the green and the orange center, so now it's just the red and the blue. All right, so that's all the centers done. Now I'm gonna make these pairs. I've already got one by chance, one of these pairs. And I don't have to worry about the pieces that are in here. I'm just gonna make the pairs on the very outermost edges. This is the bit that takes the longest, the single stage that takes the longest. Um, and for me, the bit that takes a long time is just finding the blooming pieces. But let's see. Uh, red, yellow, red, yellow, right. I don't do anything clever. I could use Yao, which is what I'd use for a 4x4, four four, but uh, it's just more likely I'm going to make a mistake if I do something like that on a puzzle like this. So I prefer just to do really basic reduction. the edges are done I think so now I get to turn it into a cuboid and for this I will always start with the red or the uh, orange face and in this case I'm going to go with red uh, so I do use full oops I just put that in the wrong place I do use full F2L here because, um, well, because I can. Hang on, have I done these the wrong way around? 
This layer here, by the way, I'm just getting this layer and this layer at this point. If I was making a tutorial, I would explain it in more detail. with algorithms here because you mess one up and you've got to start all over again. Okay, so now we have a cuboid shape and the next step is to sort this layer out. Uh, wait, no, sorry. The next level and step is to make all these into pairs. And in this case, I got quite a nice head start with quite a lot of pre-made ones. So I think, yeah, let's just do that. What does that do for us? Sometimes you can... Um, solve a whole bunch of these all in one go, and I think this might be one of those cases, yeah. Ah, but that doesn't help me. Yeah, so what I need to do is this. Uh, right. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm setting it up so that I can match these up with their partners over here, and then I'm going to switch them out with these so that when they slice back, everything's back to normal, hopefully. So, let's do this one this way, and then this one this way. And now, hopefully, yeah, there they go. Now they're all done. Next step is to um, do this layer. So as it happens, we've already got the yellow and the green centers. Just need to get these guys in place, which is actually very straightforward. So now we've got the centers. Oh, but I've messed up the, how did I do that? All oh, right, yeah, I remember what I did. I think I remember what I did. Uh, I am being very dumb here somehow. There we go. And... All right, that's all the center's done. And now I just have to do these little corner pieces here and then I'll do the ones below them. So what have we got? No. No. Going all the wrong way around, unfortunately. So I'll just have to Slum it. Right, now we need to find oh, this guy here. Oh no, that was wrong. Um, and now just one more left, which is this blue and white guy, which is this one. There we go, now the bottom corners, these guys, so uh, we've got this red, white, and blue. Uh, red, white, and green. And then this last one, okay. All right, nearly there. Now we have to do just these last two layers on the top. And then we're finished. This is the cuboid T-perm, uh, which I almost messed up, but not quite. Now I'll do another one. There we go. 
go. And now, oh good, we're in luck. So I'm just going to do a T, a U perm, followed by a Z perm. That's just the final layer. Let's start with a T perm again. Right, so now we've just got a Z-perm. Unfortunately, you can't do just a Z-perm. Oh, well, this is called a Z-perm on a um, cuboid. You wouldn't get this on a normal 3x3. It's impossible, and so therefore it leads to parity. So what we do here is we do the parity algorithm. OK, now we've got a new perm and then a Z-perm. go and it's solved uh, 11 minutes. That was a pretty lucky quick case for me, um, missing out OLL parity. I'm very grateful for because I hate that algorithm. <laughs> um, but there we go, otherwise that was uh, a fun solve of the uh, Tom Z's 4x4x6, my favourite uh, twisty puzzle to solve. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you did um, and you'd like to see more videos like this one, then please do hit that subscribe button. If you have thoughts on other kinds of videos you'd like me to make, then please comment below. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.